Welcome back to our channel. The channel where we explore the wonders of our solar system. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Jupiter, the largest and most massive planet in our solar system. From its mesmerizing striped appearance to its powerful magnetic field and multitude of moons, there's a lot to uncover. So, let's get started. Jupiter is an absolute giant, with a diameter of about 142,984 kilometers at its equator. That's more than 11 times the diameter of Earth. It's also the fifth planet from the Sun, at an average distance of about 778 million kilometers. Jupiter is also the most massive planet in our solar system, with a mass of about 1 trillion, 998 billion kilograms about 318 times the mass of Earth. Despite its massive size, Jupiter is actually less dense than Earth, with an average density of about 1.33 grams per cubic centimeter, compared to Earth's average density of 5.5 grams per cubic centimeter. This is due to Jupiter's composition, which is primarily made up of hydrogen and helium gas. Jupiter's average temperature is about minus 145 degrees Celsius. However, the temperature at the planet's core can reach as high as 24,000 degrees Celsius due to the intense pressure and heat generated by the planet's gravity. Jupiter has the strongest magnetic field of any planet in our solar system, with a magnetic field 14 times stronger than Earth's. This magnetic field creates intense radiation belts around the planet, making it a challenging environment for spacecraft to navigate. Jupiter takes about 11.86 Earth years to complete one orbit around the Sun. It is also the fastest rotating planet in our solar system, with one rotation on its axis taking only 9.9 .9 hours. This rapid rotation causes the planet to bulge at its equator and flatten at its poles. Jupiter's interior structure consists of four main layers. The innermost layer is the rocky core, estimated to be the size of Earth and have a mass of around 20 to 30 times that of Earth. Surrounding the core is a layer of liquid metallic hydrogen, which is about 80% of Jupiter's radius and makes up most of the planet's volume. Above the layer of liquid metallic hydrogen is a much thicker layer of molecular hydrogen, which extends up to about 90% of Jupiter's radius. The outermost layer of Jupiter is its atmosphere, made up mostly of hydrogen and helium gas. This layer extends up to thousands of kilometers above the planet's surface and is divided into a number of distinct bands and zones. Jupiter's atmosphere is primarily composed of hydrogen, about 89% by volume, and helium, about 10% by volume, with trace amounts of other elements such as methane, ammonia, and water vapor. The upper atmosphere of Jupiter is divided into a number of distinct bands and zones, each characterized by different cloud patterns and colors. The cloud layers are composed of compounds such as ammonia, ammonium hydrosulfide, and water. Perhaps the most famous feature of Jupiter's atmosphere is the Great Red Spot, a massive anticyclonic storm larger than the diameter of Earth that has been raging for centuries. The storm is located in the southern hemisphere of the planet and is believed to be sustained by the Coriolis effect and the high winds in the region. Jupiter's atmosphere is also home to numerous smaller storms and vortices, many of which have distinct shapes and colors. Jupiter's atmosphere is a highly active electrical environment, with frequent lightning strikes observed in the planet's cloud layers. These lightning bolts are much more powerful than those on Earth, and can produce radio emissions that have been detected by spacecraft orbiting the planet. Jupiter's strong magnetic field generates intense radiation belts around the planet, which can interact with the atmosphere to produce bright aurorae in the polar regions. These aurorae are similar to Earth's northern and southern lights, but much more powerful. Pioneer 10 and 11 were the first spacecraft to fly by Jupiter, providing the first close-up images of the planet and its moons. They also measure the planet's magnetic field and radiation environment. Voyager 1 and 2 provided detailed images of the atmosphere, rings, and moons of the planets. The missions also discovered volcanic activity on Jupiter's moon Io and a number of new moons. Galileo was the first spacecraft to orbit Jupiter, studying the planet and its moons in detail for several years. During the mission, evidence of a subsurface ocean on Europa and a possible ocean on Ganymede was discovered. 
Jupiter has a total of 79 known moons, making it the planet with the largest number of moons in our solar system. The four largest moons, known as the Galilean moons, were first observed by Galileo Galilei in 1610 and are the most well-known of Jupiter's moons. Io Io is the most volcanically active object in our solar system, with over 400 active volcanoes on its surface. It is also the closest of the Galilean moons to Jupiter, which causes tidal forces that generate its intense geological activity. Europa Europa is believed to have a subsurface ocean of liquid water beneath its icy surface, making it a potential candidate for extraterrestrial life. It has also been observed to have complex surface features, including cracks and ridges. Ganymede Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system, even larger than the planet Mercury. It has a complex geology, including craters, mountains, and valleys, and is believed to have a subsurface ocean of liquid water. Callisto Callisto is the third largest moon in the solar system and is heavily cratered, indicating that its surface has not changed significantly in billions of years. It is also believed to have a subsurface ocean of liquid water. In addition to the Galilean moons, Jupiter has many smaller moons that have been discovered by spacecraft over the past few decades. These moons have a wide range of sizes, shapes, and orbits, and many are thought to be captured asteroids or comets. Jupiter has a faint ring system with four main parts, Halo Ring, Main Ring, Amalfia Gossamer Ring, and Phoebe Gossamer Ring. The halo and main rings are composed of small and larger particles, respectively, believed to originate from Jupiter's moons, particularly Metis and Adrastia. The Amalfia and Phoebe Gossamer rings are fainter, consisting of tiny particles from the moons Amalfia and Phoebe. Jupiter's rings were first discovered by Voyager 1 in 1979 and later studied by Galileo and New Horizons spacecraft. In ancient Roman mythology, Jupiter was the king of the gods and the god of the sky and thunder, and was associated with justice and the law. The planet Jupiter was named after this deity. In Hindu astrology, Jupiter is known as Guru, which means teacher or master, and is believed to bring wisdom and good luck to those born under its influence. In Chinese astrology, Jupiter is associated with the element wood and is believed to bring growth, abundance, and good fortune. The planet's movements were observed and studied by ancient astronomers, including the Babylonians and Greeks, who used Jupiter's position relative to the stars to create calendars and predict astronomical events. Here are some interesting facts about Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, with a diameter of over 86,000 miles, more than 11 times the diameter of Earth. Jupiter has the shortest day of all the planets in our solar system, with one day on Jupiter lasting just 9 hours and 56 minutes. Jupiter has a massive magnetic field, 14 times stronger than Earth's. This field traps charged particles, creating intense radiation belts around the planet. Jupiter has at least 79 known moons, the most of any planet in our solar system. The four largest moons are called the Galilean moons, and were first observed by Galileo in 1610. Jupiter has a distinctive banded appearance, with alternating light and dark stripes running parallel to the planet's equator. These bands are caused by strong winds blowing in opposite directions at different latitudes. Jupiter's Great Red Spot is a massive storm that has been raging for at least 350 years. It is three times larger than the size of Earth and can be seen from Earth using a telescope. Thank you for watching our video about the fascinating world of Jupiter. If you enjoyed learning about the gas giant and its intriguing features, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content about our solar system and beyond. Your support helps us continue to bring you informative and engaging videos. See you in the next one.